And uh, Hercules is past the transom. Roger. And deck umbilical is all out. Roger. And deck, if you could have Hercules center up uh, for a little bit, please. Working on it. Copy, working on it. And deck, Atalanta is away. Herc Roger, descending. Hercules is dive, dive, dive. Come on, Megan, say it, say it. Say it. You missed it. It's the style of this watch. Hercules is dive, dive, dive. Nothing beats Steve Pye saying it. <laughs> I could say it next time. This is an audio slate for dive H1980. UTC time is 0709. What's that? Mark. I have to mess with it because Trevor gets it all stuck on Trevor mode. <laughs> all systems go. What's that? have to push the button. So gauges. Mm -hmm. This is a reminder for all Hold conversation on, I think you have to click on it. until we hit 75 yeah. meters to please refrain this has to be anything other than operational talk. Thank you. Oh yeah, it has to be front and center. This has to be the one that's clicked on, yeah. Seems to work. Yep.
Oh, come on. And deck, all stop at 75 meters and control has been sent. Roger, taking control. Thanks for a great launch. Thank you. Okay. That was a nice touch. <laughs> Very polite. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> Had to make up for it somehow. That's other even way. better, though. <laughs> Coming down. Bless you. You could, uh, not sure if you have or yet. Not. How fast are you coming down, Dan? So I'm guessing we're not doing a transect on the way down then. Nope, dive lead didn't say anything because they're not present, so. Okay. Are we supposed to be doing a? Uh, it said if time permitting, yeah, uh, ascent Yeah, it's like an descent. optional thing. Above my pay grade. <laughs> Speeding up, Dan. Uh, I'm gonna try here. <laughs> a lot of inking what kind happening. What ink is that? Yeah, that stuff looks surprisingly like viscous. You know what I mean? <laughs> what does that come from? What's our target depth? Uh, 2230. 2230, okay. So, pilot and co-pilot, do you want me to always push out of this little yes. situation? Yes. Always? Yeah. Okay, yeah. copy that. I'll do that tonight. It's very annoying. <laughs> uh, 681 Tava Wraps. Uh, Oh yeah, thanks. Thank you. I always forget that. You do. Uh, I gotta do Atlanta here. I can do Atlanta if you like. Or you got? I okay. dashed on it. <coughs> yeah, I always forget that. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Going so, through my mental checklist. So, uh, I might have to agree with you now. That camera could be tilted forward a little. Just so the pit lights aren't in the view? Yeah. 
That is kind of annoying. You can turn the pit lights off, though. Uh, but then the... Then you can't see anything. Yeah. With them off, you gotta... Yeah. And you can't dim them because you don't have sliders. I yeah, and so it needs to be tilted forward just enough. Uh, so you see how much it closed up in the water? Yep. Well, so we see now about, you know, maybe half, a little over half inch there before we had an inch or so. But yeah, I was thinking it would be nice to be able to see the Niskin poles. So maybe if we tilt it down just so the lights are out. I don't know. I have to live with it for a dive for We've tried both on uh, Luukai and uh, always end up tilting it forward. <laughs> so everyone has said so far about this, they call it the camera that you can't see anything out of. I think it's great. You can see everything. It's fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we missed. <but laughs> <laughs> no, I think that camera has a new home. The only problem is it takes our uh, starboard rail cam, which I kind of rely on, but I can live with that one. Yeah, here's the greatest thing about this. Um, permission to p deploy the craft? Yeah. It needs to be deployed. I know it does. Okay, craft coming out. This is the best thing about this uh, camera right here. You can see the whole arm all the time. I can see the whole arm, what I'm doing, where it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a game changer for especially for people who aren't, you know, who it helps you to there visualize. Now I can see the arm like. over here while you guys are zooming in on something. I can like, oh, I want to stow the yeah. arm. Check this out. Oh, AJ's missing his chance. He wanted to play with the arm on a descent. I can stow the arm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> arm feels good. Yeah, the armpit lights are going to be a problem for this dive, but we'll fix it on the next one. No, they're and they're not. It's that's not too bad. Nah. It is kind of annoying. You know, should I should have listened to you. Damn it. Hate it when he's right. Would anyone be interested in some prideful Skittles? What flavor are they? They're pride. Is that they're a flavor? Mystery they're, just flavor. A <laughs> they're just regular Skittles, but they're not colorful. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just brush my teeth. It's kind of like morning, you know? Oh, look at that fish. What was that one? I think it was a viper fish. So I was talking to Ed about putting another one of those uh, voice boxes here. Wow. It seems like there's always someone sitting here. Yeah. Not over there. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be someone over there teaching Navigator how to work and everything. Yeah. Oh, and also, like, it could be a good spot for a Herc pilot person yeah. to sit, but yeah. Well, Apparently, we, the, the <laughs> we got a spot. Yeah, makes sense. But that's where the uh, winch control lives. He'll be on the entire transit back to Hawaii, so he'll have some time. Ed. Right here. Yeah. Faster, faster. It's our new camera. You like it? <laughs> yeah. It keeps moving on us. And maybe like adjust it so the lights aren't right in the corners. Yeah, just like a little bit.
giving her all she's got, Scotty. I can't give her any more. I can uh, slow down. Or Jake can slow down. He's one. He's hovering. I see Jake's hovering. I'm out of here. <laughs> Our dive today is about 2,230 meters, so we have, at the rate we're going, we about an hour week. to reach the bottom. 60 minutes exactly. Okay, I'm going to have way too much fun with this controller. <laughs> oh, look at Thanks those again. Things. Ooh, does Iris run away? <gasps> it actually works. No way. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of it too and copy it. That's gonna be our new uh, Minis controller for Luke, honey. Getting rid of the joystick. Well, look, you even named them. Dan just needs less of a potato of a phone. <laughs> it is better. Yeah, because Xbox is always better than PlayStation. Uh oh, you started something. Yeah, Dan was zooming down full yep. speed. I was full at my speed limit. Full beams. He was still pulling me down. I was trying to send a friend of ours a uh, picture. Yeah. There we go. That's better. <coughs> Cole finally got back to me. Send out, um, send out bucket cam, Pete. Put bucket cam on uh, three, just for fun. New camera view, camera angle. Is that the new camera angle? Yeah. 
Uh, it's a wide angle camera we put on for uh, doing this kind of work. It's helpful that we can see. And Strawberry and cream, noted. It was horrible. They sat on the on the counter in the control van, the entire cruise. No one ate them. Told Cole to come check us out and have a chat. They seemed really excited. It's like, oh my god, you're on a Nautilus? Yeah, but did he know that was you? <laughs> I think Cole would have fun on this boat. That was me back here pressing a button, Dick. <laughs> does it run away anymore? No. No, it does not run away. Hmm. Zoom is great. It shows that the uh, superior oh. uh, controller is an Xbox controller. It does. Well, at least for the... For this software. Integration for this software. Look at that view. It's, uh, that almost looks like a high-definition picture. That's going out over the internet, by the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's all right. Check it's out our knife. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. Let's see uh, how clear you can get the uh, picture of the Zeus. Oh. Zeus okay. and the lasers is always a cool topic yeah, there you for go. discussion. You missed it, AJ. Your chance to play with the arm. Uh, actually, AJ did not miss it. If AJ would like to come down and play with the what? arm. What? Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> I'll be right there. You break it, you fix it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we are not doing a transect right now, correct? Mm. Okay. Oh, AJ. Oh, Grab yourself a chair. Let's walk you through how this works. Yeah. So if you do want to show our hands, you can. So, the way this works is this is the master controller, nice or the parent controller, to the main craft arm on the vehicle. This is your shoulder, this is your elbow, wrist up and down, wrist yaw, then you've got wrist rotate, and if you squeeze this trigger here, that's how you close the jaws. You have buttons here, you have a halt button that freezes the arm. Okay. And when you freeze the arm, you can reposition, unfreeze, and do all your work again if you run out of room or you're in an uncomfortable position. Continuous wrist rotate allows you to use this button here. Or if you turn that off, you rotate this and you'll turn your wrist. So you'll have this motion. Grip lock, when you hold this, your jaws, like we're grabbing onto something, you push grip lock and you'll hold it tight. I like Just the picture nice you have now, Pete. <laughs> smooth movements. I want to show on the, the one you have grown out. So, go ahead. So, so I usually hold it like this. I like and the I'll other one. I'll put my hand move. here and you'll kind of move it around I'm like this. Sure. And when you're ready, just push this button, and you can see it in I like the other one showing the, both views. their faces. It was pretty cool. Uh, beware of freeze-fail. <laughs> so that will close your yeah. jaws. You let go. So as you squeeze, it closes. If you let go, they open. So when you're ready, push that top button. You'll see the arm in this view, so you can come in front, and you can see in this view here, you'll see everything around what you're doing. So your light's on, so shut the light off. There you go. Now,
Oh. So right now, to rotate your wrist, you rotate it, there's this guy. So that's the whole thing. Yeah, there you go. That's the whole yeah. yaw. Yeah. And then you've got up and down. Are you right back, Jake? I am. Thank you. And we can see it in that new camera that we're not even close to the camera. Yeah. I also got my finger on the button. <laughs> 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 so one thing to think about it, HA is not the particular oh he's not on SPL do we have a wireless headset that we could use when we're teaching someone like this we do but Or well, you can tell them, Danny, is to, instead of thinking about moving the individual joints, um, just move the arm to make the jaw go where you want it to go. Yeah. So basically, you don't think about what's going on here. You want to look at what you're doing on the arm and just move to that motion. So you'll be up in the air. You you kind of blend into it. You don't want to match. Yeah. No, you're not going to hurt it. Okay. So it's got a position feedback, so it will stop right. at a mechanical li at a mechanical limit. Right. You don't want to like ram it into that limit, sure. but yeah. it has uh, soft limits built in. That's what we did the other day, Danny. We programmed all the when yeah. I had you driving it, we programmed in soft limits so it can't hit its hard stops. Yeah, trying to get certain grabs and setting down in certain ways and so. It, it's definitely interesting to think about the, your limits and when you're trying to grab something that's behind you or up in the armpit grab we talk about. So everything is actually reversed at that point because you're looking at the arm backwards. So you squeeze it, you squeeze it and then you push that in, yeah. So you can push the forward trigger or the back trigger. They're the same trigger. Right. So you've got this trigger and that trigger. So whatever yeah. feels comfortable. And they're proportional, so you can do it really slowly. Or, yeah, you know. so you can squeeze halfway, squeeze quarter. And then, and then uh, another one you can do is if you turn the other light off, this light, yeah. and you unfreeze your arm. Now if you twist your wrist, yeah. So you do. That's what I do when I do push courts. So I can keep it level as I'm spinning around, instead of a bump, 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 bump. As I'm coming around, I'll roll the wrist. Exactly. You can keep it nice and level as you're moving the arm. You can uh, speed up the winch a little if you want, Jake. Kind up to 30 something. Usually what we do is we'll hold it tight, we'll hit grip lock off, and then we'll release slow so we're not just wide open, especially when you're in the box trying to pick something up. Right. Because you'll break something or crash the arm into the side of the box, which the arm doesn't care, but usually the stuff in the box does. <laughs> you just basically go do that and then straight down. If you look in this image here, you'll see and that's, that's a pretty good stow position. So we yep. usually close the arm, uh, close the jaws when we stow it. So if you close the jaws, now hit the grip lock. Oh, it is. Yeah. And then, and then you hit freeze, and you're stowed. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Give you a new uh, idea of what we have to deal <laughs> with up here. Yeah. <laughs> You're hired, AJ. <laughs>
<laughs> Career shift for you. Uh, next time uh, OMC's on board, AGOV in the front row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Thank you, Danny. Of course. Hopefully my uh, teaching style <laughs> works okay for you. Yeah, yeah. No, super helpful. You've had some practice, Danny. <laughs> well, I have done like 18 tours with all of the, uh, this year at the University of Hawaii. So, so I've walked through the motions of showing a new person how the arm works a few times. A <laughs> veteran, a veteran STEM teacher. Sessions. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably done about 18 here. Yeah. Probably with the uh, all the students. All the students from STEM C's on board who got to play with it. Ooh. Ooh, you let those back. kids run that arm? No, I let them play with the arm, the master oh, controller, right. and feel how it reacts. But no, not in the hangar. I wasn't going to let them smash it into something. <laughs> <laughs> no, damn, they did not touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, they were up here for hours having lots of fun. I did let them run the... Uh, Magnum, though. <coughs> that one's a bit more controlled. That one's <laughs> you know. Passing the oranges, conicus back and forth. <laughs> they were doing some rather clever handoffs. It's mostly training for me for this cruise. When I first started doing it, Dan had me stacking um, electrical tape, the colored electrical tape, <laughs> on top of, on the deck. <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> that would have been fun. We need to make some, uh, yeah, some toy, some better toys. Oh, you'll be back in Honolulu soon <laughs> enough, and we can make all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, that the 3D printer. Oh, yeah, we could. You should get some balloons. Some calibration blocks would be great, actually, for stacking, because you can, like, you dump them out on the deck at random, and then you have to pick them up in such a way where you can stack all the X's and Y's to line up. So it we'll makes you think up. about how you pick up something to get it into the position. We'll just take a 20 out. millimeter by 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter calibration block and make it, like, 2 inch by 2 inch by 2 inch. Yeah. <laughs> I used to cut my alphabet blocks. <laughs> cut a bunch of uh, two by fours up and color one side of them. Ah, we should print them. PLA is cheap. Print them. But wood could be free. <laughs> yeah. Is it though? It could be. <laughs> Hard to come by just out here. Just get a uh, big Jenga set. Giant Jenga. Giant Jenga. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that would but be fun. That would be really, really fun. Okay, I'm ordering one right now. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you can get them on Amazon for like 80 bucks. Yeah, it's I hard to get yeah. Amazon out here, too. Oh, you yeah. can make one out of the dunnage we have on deck. We could, yeah. <laughs> Giant Jenga. That would be awesome. We should do that on the next morning deployment day. We took apart all those um, <laughs> tables that we had covering the anchors, or we took apart one of them. Oh, yeah. But I mean, that's, that's half a Jenga set right there. Yeah. I like the idea of 3D printed ones. Maybe they might stay around. Problem with the Jenga set is they seem to disappear. <laughs> oh, feels like it would be so sticky. Yeah, the that's 3D awesome. printed pieces. That's your iris. Oh. Well, we haven't tried to brutalize any 3D printed pieces with the manipulator yet, have we? Well, the gas tight safeties are 3D printed. Oh, yeah. And those yeah. seem to have held up pretty well. Are those? That's PLA, 100% fill. Yeah. yeah. There's actually some, uh, uh, they're not PLA, they're ASA pieces underneath the uh, slurp nozzle actually, holding that together. Our pools on the Niskins. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Niskin I forgot about those. Printed. Yeah. I forgot all about those. Oh, it's because it's the first thing you printed. <laughs> That's porch. It's the first thing Robert printed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. First so ROV 3D printed. For your Niskin pools? I don't have one. 
could use like a trigger. Oh, there's not a button, but there's a uh, one that says um, temp probe. I just put ones in where you're using for this job. Yeah. You can put more, and there's like 150 presets. You can well, I know. I'm just saying, <laughs> like you have triggers on, a v on on the controller that can be used. Yeah. Be a good zoom. That's what I was saying. I can't remember. I think we sent something down recently that was 3D printed with the intention of seeing how it did over a few years, sub C, see if it swells up or anything. Oh, yeah. Because we've used these gas tight. This was probably the first thing that we sent to depth. We didn't know if they'd collapse in on themselves. Right. But uh, I, we haven't ever sent anything for like a long term deployment. So I've been doing all kinds of experiments uh, with my 3D printed parts because I've been making 3D printed parts for. Uh, the vehicle and uh, sampling equipment and all kinds of stuff and we use uh i do pressure tests with them as well oh yeah and i found a hundred percent hundred percent infill is best for subsea yeah um but i've put it in oil for i've had one in sitting in oil for two years the, the rp that we use and it is still as solid yeah, as in the royal purple it in there. nice yeah huh. impressive PLA seems to hold up really well. Yeah. PETG, PETG works very well in water. Oh yeah. Um, but anything structural now we've been building out of ASA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had good results. There's a whole bunch of light mounts on Hercules that are made out of ASA. Oh, nice. Some of our older light mounts we can't buy the uh, the mounts for anymore. We right, yeah, the link discontinued. Yeah. Yeah. The bottle, uh, the Ethernet bottle, actually has a ASA clamp. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah, that's good to know. I know we've got two 3D printers. One's kind of just the, you know your basic Prusa that does PLA. We have another one, a Raise, that does all sorts of materials. And uh, my colleague Don is kind of the guy who's busy using that and switching out the materials. I've only really played around with the PLA one. Uh, take a look at the bamboo lab. Yeah, the Not a the one we have in the data lab there. Okay. Those are, that's been a game changer. Yeah. Yeah, they're just incredibly fast. It's been, we bought it for uh, making mostly prototype parts for the, when we did the frame swap. Um, but it was, it's been running basically nonstop for probably since, when did we buy that thing? It was in uh, March. March, <laughs> it showed up. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, it looked pretty new. But uh, the AMS uh, allows you to have four different filaments in it at once. That's pretty climate controlled. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you can set it to run continuously, essentially, if you wanted to. Right. Have you guys played around with, like, water-soluble supports or anything like that? No. That was some idea that, like, we had when we bought our newer 3D printer, and I don't think we've ever gotten around to playing around with it. Mm -hmm. We have some. I just haven't. Yeah, it came with some, but I haven't played around with it. We've been doing pretty basic parts and uh, mounts, and I've printed, I don't know, I dozens and dozens of boxes for our list of cabinets, just because they're kind of an odd size and yeah. expensive. Yeah, yeah. So there's a Fusion 360 program that um, you can put in all the parameters, and you say, like, how big your drawer is, and you tell it how many boxes you want. Yeah. And it populates all that, and then you just print one of those. And nice. And printed boxes for weeks <laughs> <laughs> i uh, came up with a design for your induction uh gas types and uh your iso gas types yeah yeah yep. um i call it a toaster it's on the printer right now because i thought we were gonna use use them again yeah but uh basically it looks like a toaster to sit all three of those inductive coils in line and the center one will be kept in there so we'll be able to pop them out I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not fumble with the hockey puck issue That's cool. we had last time. Yeah. I think that I heard about that. I didn't I didn't witness it. But uh I've never used those U Min, those um gas tights. We don't typically bring those. We usually bring these mechanical ones. That's kind of a uh, a rarity for us to have those as well. But I heard there I saw that there was like a hockey puck contraption. That was the idea. Yeah, that actually worked, but what didn't work, we we should have secured it with something more than a rubber band. <laughs> mm -hmm. The rubber band 
We had two rubber bands on there, but they we didn't account for the cables sliding around and it popped the rubber bands off. So we were like piling pieces on there to hold them together. <laughs> <laughs> kind nice. of ghetto. But the hockey yeah. puck thing, yeah, it worked all right. Yeah. A uh, rubber impromptu printers? witch's hat kind of. What's that? Rubber printers that you can print with rubber. Yeah, we print um There's a piece on the master controller there. Yeah, but you printed this on a old printer, right? Mr. Yeah. Well, it's just like, super, it's called TPU. Most people printing, uh, like for models, printing uh, tank tracks and... Uh, Justin has one uh, iPhone cover that he's printed. Uh, Can I see that, Danny? Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's hollow, but... Right, but if you made it solid, it would be... It'd still be pretty flex yeah. flexible. What's well, on? It's got infill on it. It's 15% infill. Yeah. It feels hollow. It's yeah, it's so just got like a, you can probably tell there's a, just like a skeleton inside. It's yeah. pretty, yeah. pretty, a lot of void. That's three years old now that's been on there. Was this printed on Andy? Uh, that was print. no, it was printed on Bob's, uh, I forget what kind of machine he had. He brought his machine out here uh, before last. That's TPU, you said? Yeah, it's a flexible filament. It was actually in the early days of COVID. TPU was extremely popular because people were printing printing mask holders so oh, yeah. to get them off people's ears they had these tpu bands on the back that the mask straps would attach to huh. and that was extremely popular it was really hard to get tpu during those times <laughs> we should uh, print some of those for port call <laughs> good oh hey jake um uh, i want to move the ship back so we're not so close to the mooring okay i can yeah you're yeah, good I like how the Velcro actually sticks to this master controller. I can't get anything to stick to the shielding master controller. No, the anodized aluminums. Yeah, it's, this has some grit to it. How far are we from the mooring, Megan? Oh, we're not that far from where we deployed the mooring um, right now but I just don't want us to be descending on top of it because that's what we would be doing. So I'm going to move us down to the IP and then we can head up toward the morning. What's that, 50 meters away? Yeah, about. How tall is the morning? 270 meters. Right. Keep an eye on our sonar when we get down there just to make sure it's we, um, where we had we a hard think time. it is. We had a hard time seeing the old one in the sonar. It's almost like it's too skinny in the water column. That's because Trevor runs the sonar at light speed. Oh. If you slow it down, it'll okay. actually reflect as it goes by. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, we should uh, rename Bucket to Bucket slash uh, Danny Cam. Bucket slash Danny Cam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might have to put one of those axes and coders in the bottle so we can run that thing all the time. I have to. It's a kind of an awesome camera. Megan, can you just show me which point here was is like our best guess of where this mooring ended? Um, so this is where we deployed it. So it, it's somewhere in this vicinity. And here's Herc. So we're really close to where we think it's going to be. And the IP is down here. So I just pinged it and it says it's here. This is the uh, point that we had from our previous dive. So okay. I'm bringing the ship down so we're here uh, when we land. So there's two, I see two tags that say surface mooring position. There's one there and there's one to the right of it. Yeah. So you think it's the one on the left? I It, it might be this one, it could be this one. I just don't want to be near it okay. while we're, so we don't land on it. Or right. get tangled with it. Yeah, no, that that's fair. I'm just curious which one of those two. It's got a beacon on it. There's also RCM Southeast Mooring USBL deploy 2023-0709 deploy question mark. 
Oh, that says deploy question mark. Oh, okay, so that's a different one. Yeah. But the other one, the USBL deploy, that sounds promising as to maybe that was a hit. Yeah, that might be. Yeah, so that's where right. we probably want to think of it. Okay, so it could be over here. This might be where the ship was when this yeah, hit the bottom. Yeah, it could be. It's just, um, if you're moving Argus around, just, yeah, try to keep to one side of that, I guess, Yeah, right? I'm keeping, I'm going to bring Argus down here. Okay. Atalanta, Argus. sorry. Argus is in Hawaii. Atalanta, I it's mean, such Atalanta. a strange habit. <laughs> so I've probably worked with Atalanta as much as I've worked with Argus now, so. Don't doesn't, know why. doesn't help that half of our... No one quite just still says it says Argus, Argus everywhere. Yeah, yeah that's so you true, read actually. it and then you say it. Yeah, that's fair. Also it's like an easier name. Like it rolls off yeah. the tongue better. Yeah. Atalanta. Atalanta has a lot of syllables. syllables. Yeah. Say it three times fast. Addy. Can we give it a nickname? <laughs> I would be careful there because Allison named it, so <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Danny, Penn left a little with the, or Jake, Penn left a little with the Zeus. Yeah, that's a light refraction, Pete. Oh, you thought it was a little bit of schmutz? I think it's the down lights that do that. Yeah. Need a bigger uh, shade. Oh. That light still looks, that camera still looks good. I think when we're on the bottom, that'll be a good, good view. Oh, it's going to be a great view. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I'm not just tooting my own horn. That is a necessity on Lukai. I use that camera more than I use any other camera when I'm manipulating. Oh, yeah, for sure, because you can see what your whole entire arm's doing. Yeah. The down camera is very useful, too. So is that different from the bubble? I mean, I can see it looks different, but did you put it in a different spot, or? Uh, so it's right next to bubble cam, but it's a, it's it's a, a wide, wide angle. It's a wide angle uh, yeah. camera. Yeah, So wow. it's built fisheye, but it gives you an overview of everything that's in front of the vehicle. Yeah. Oh, it's right on. That's really cool. operational. But yeah. Well, that's what it's there for, is operations. Yeah. The HD is there for the pretty pictures. And then bucket cam, that that camera is absolutely a necessity. The bubble. Boobble. I like the way the zoom works with that controller. I do too. It feels better really better good. than the and original. It works really well. It's proportional. It did a good job of getting that set up. The hardest part was making those little teeny labels. <laughs> <laughs> Still be boost. I keep pulling down and going down. I don't like it. Jacob, when you uh, on the pan and tilt on the hook, uh, when you pull back, it goes up, right? Same as yep, same as the thrusters. Yeah. The thrusters. I think we should be versed that, Dan. Oh, on the on here, the air, yeah. yeah, yeah. I do the same thing every time. I go, I'm like, I go. Ah, I went the wrong way. Or wait till you work on a regular ROV. It'll take you two weeks to get used to everything being normal right. cameras. Or work any other pan and tilt. On the planet, up is up, down is down. Really? M work one of Pete's. Up it up, down is down. That's no? like the classic. Did anyone ever play like the original Halo? Yeah. So when I play Halo, it's up is up, down is down. Well, yeah, when you play Halo, but really in, in the in the at the start of the original Halo, there was like a like a menu where the guy asked you if you wanted to like have it up is up or like yeah. inverted, and I feel like that just like split my entire generation. Like <laughs> oh, yeah. totally fifty percent of us did one thing, fifty percent did the other thing, and like we've never gone back. 
It's like, well, now. When yep. they do that test, they tell you pan up. Yeah. And then and look at the light. On, look at the look. Yeah. Based on what you did was yeah. how they locked you into a. But it also was a calibration for the controller because every controller was slightly different. So yeah, that's great. It was a built-in yeah. calibration, which was really cool because it's the first game to ever do that. So, but all the deck cameras up is up, right? On, we follow what the industry does on the PTZs, which is up is down, down is up. Yeah, it's inverted, just like a. a is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, That's I'll, re I'll reverse it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're pulling up. It's yep. not a democracy, I'll ha have you know, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll reverse it. That's why we did it that way, because it follows what you guys do. Roger. And it's going to mess my halo up. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that game in ages. I should go back play the original. <laughs> did they do a? Did they do like a remake of the original? Yes. Yeah. The newest Gamers. one is actually pretty good. Is that what it is? It's. Um. Or no. That was a couple of years ago. You mean the remaster? Yeah. yeah. It's the remaster, but yeah. Halo Five is actually a lot of fun. I've been playing oh, a yeah? bunch of Halo Five. Okay, try it now, Danny. See if it. There we go. All better. Much better. I have to admit, I kept doing it backwards too. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the question is, when you turn it around and look at the vehicle, it is still. Yes, it's smart. Good. Oh yeah, that is awesome. And then I just hit porch. I love those presets. Got a Dan, someone's asking you to repeat the model of the new 3D printer we have on board. <laughs> it's a uh, Bamboo X1 Carbon. Some good advertising for them. <laughs> Not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah. But it could be. You should, yeah, you should we ask for something. Hey, well, Bamboo, we, if you're listening. Uh, no, we need to. Uh, somebody told me to send them some pictures of some of the 3D printed items we have on the vehicle. And oh, we'd yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. get PLA for life. That would be cool. <laughs> PLA <laughs> for life. <laughs> <laughs> idea. That, that will also do carbon fiber uh, filament, so, which is something we haven't played around with yet in the deep sea. I'm, I'm curious how it's going to react. But Ro Robert's so printed strong. some. Robert printed a few carbon fiber pieces. I forget what. I think one of the uh, discon poles was carbon fiber. Her could be the, the fastest one. sub in the in the West. <laughs> Decked out with all that carbon fiber, <laughs> so fast. Oh, gotta be gotta be careful with carbon fiber nowadays. It wears out the nozzles, so. though. Yeah. Oh, of the printer. Yeah. Oh, cool. It won't if you use the hardened steel one, which is what the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon comes with. But you don't want to use the AMS with uh, carbon fiber. Is it, what's it do to the AMS? It will eat that plastic uh, tubing. Oh, that's what it wears out. Yeah. On the feed? On yeah. the, the line feed? Yeah, so it uses uh, that you know clear plastic tubing. Mm -hmm. um, and the carbon fiber is abrasive in the filament, so it'll actually eat it up and it will cause it basically the tolerances to widen and cause it to bun, bun, bunch up. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it will actually cut a hole in it. But you can run it uh, right into a dry box behind the printer and use a Y to go right into the printer. We need to print some Ys too, because. So I can hook up that dry box. We have an extra piece of tubing. I haven't seen anyone use Capricorn tubing yet, the Teflon coated t t tubing yet on the X1, but mm. I think that's going to be an easy upgrade that should help with that.
26 minutes to bottom. Iris down. Oh, oop. Don't run away from me. There we go. Gotta just tap it. Can you drag back? There. Hmm? Can oh. you drag back there? Sorry. It's alright. Focus. Gauge check. The hose is in the way. Nah, uh, that's cool. That's good. Yeah, that's five. Weather, dark, clear, flat. <laughs> God, I love this Grafana though, this is amazing. Grafana Definitely is gotta great. Learn how to use it and make it everywhere. Yep.
Have you played around with our flighter mouse at all, Megan? With flighter mouse? What, yeah, with the uh, version we have here on Nautilus. Um, yeah, I played around with it a while ago. Why? I was wondering if we have a main endeavor vent field map, like the one, I thought we had the one in Bari did with the AUV oh, and flighter yeah, I mouse. Don't, I don't know if we have a map made somewhere. I can't find a good 3D one of the main field. Mm. I know they're out there. Ronnie would probably be the one to ask to where that file might be. Yeah. Because that's the hard part, finding the file. <laughs> There's some older black and white mosaic ones, but I don't know if they're still... That's something we can print. What's that? A 3D. 3D map. model of. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. That'd be, that'd be sweet. Yeah, you should see if you can get your hands on some of the photo tel photogrammetry that was done for like. Yeah, it's been done. Grotto or something. That'd it's be been sweet. done. Many times. Yeah. Well, yeah. We have software, we can do that. What's going on there? I can't hold up. Uh, I can't hear you. Never seen them before. <laughs> hmm. I see something new every day. What's that? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you're real quiet, Pete. Can't hear you at all. What's that? My favorite's the remote, though. No, nope. it's p plus five. Try again. Yeah, I can barely hear you. Yeah, it's a little better. Never lose it. No, exactly. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> That's what I want the front of the it. data lab to look like. We're getting there. 18 minutes to bottom. Step one, get the bottom. Step two, white balance. Step three, profit. <laughs> profit? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like a Cards Against Humanity card or something? South Park originated it. Oh. <laughs> Those are the underpants gnomes. Oh, are there any good questions coming in on the chat? No, not no. really. 
guess other people have things to do on a Saturday night? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, no one's up at like, you know, silly early in the morning. Well, you know, not too late in Hawaii land. Well, I was going to say international too, different time zones. Yeah. Never know. It's for Dan. Hmm? <laughs> What's that? What you asked for earlier. What do you got? Oh, the file. I don't know if he. I don't. Don't you have it over there? What do you have up? Oh, uh, Jenny's uh, putting in your request from earlier before the dive. Getting some really good channel on the blue channel. Oh. Good data. I I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a variety of data. Mm -hmm. ONC doesn't have any, uh, there's no instruments up at high rise or down at, but there's some instru instruments down at Mothra, isn't there? Yeah, we've got instruments at Mothra. We've got a whole IP at Mothra. Um, high rise, we had oh, unautonomous bars, but it 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 got encrusted. No. Oh. So it's not working well. Maybe it's still working. We're never going to get it back. We were down at Mothra um, year before last, weren't we? We were at Mothra earlier this cruise. Were we? We yep. were. Yes. Well. Oh. I must have been sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah. We were most definitely there. Pretty sure we just reached bottom and, we, and it was the end of our watch. Could be. What did we do? We did a bars and a gas site. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, that was, I think I was up for that dive. I can't remember now, though. They all blur together. We did, oh, I think we did push course, clean the camera. This is our uh, last dive here in Endeavour, main vent pill, is it? I think so. We have an autonomous, do, 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 do. We have like a, I think a west flank autonomous that we have to put down. So there will be, a, a, I think, one more small dive to swap an autonomous instrument. But this is our last kind of big big dive. How long has this dive meant to go on? I didn't read past the uh, equipment on the vehicle part. <laughs> <laughs> um, this dive's going to be, I don't know, probably 16, 20 hours maybe. Mm. By the time we do all the tool basket stuff, we got to lower the RAS PPS, pick up the tool basket, we got to lay a cable. Um, do some plume sampling. I don't know. Yeah. Probably this afternoon we'll be finishing. We'll get back on watch and be recovering. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Easy money after last night. <laughs> yeah, this one's going to be fun for you, plugging in these moorings. I'm sure you've done it before, Dan. Yeah, chasing that thing around and around. <laughs> yeah, the swivel <laughs> stop. Yeah. 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 We tried to improve that. 
Uh, this year, we'll see if our efforts uh, have worked. My colleague Bennett has been working, thinking about it a lot. So, oh yeah, we'll see. I mean, I think I think the answer is a carabiner, but. No. Oh, do you, is that add on the down view? No, we're stretched out. To your butt. We got aliens. It's got to be Atalanta. Oh, you know what it might be? It's off to the... Yeah. It is off to the port side of Hercules, so... That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> that fish eye view is kind of crazy. It's actually kind of not cool, because... Your job is to not have that view right now. <laughs> yeah. I understand that, but I'm just saying, like, it's you're, kind of cool that you're out of the box by double digits over there. Yeah, what's going on there? Uh, it's just not Atalanta's. All three of you are out of the box. <laughs> Because we don't have auto heading on the way down, do we? Typically not, no. We let the vehicle walk around Atlanta as it will. Oh, you got half a wrap. It's not uh, the end of the world with the 50 meter tether, but that would be. You'd be in the 6 8 if that was a shorter tether. Slow down here. It looks like on the schedule, the current thinking is that we would head over to Cascadia after this dive. So we might not be doing that auxiliary until later. Cascadia, is, that's a fair steam, isn't it? Uh, that's like one site to the east, but uh, da -da, transit looks like it's about five and a half hour steam. Uh, yeah. And then we'll be getting back on watch. There it is. What are we looking at? Oh, that's the mooring. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I was trying to be away from it. <laughs> we landed almost directly on it. <laughs> yeah, Hercules, I mean, even in nav, that makes exact sense with where it was marked. Atalanta's away from it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I see. Oh, I can't right control where Herc is. Yep. I can only control Atalanta. <laughs> Should we just follow it down? What's the plan here? Uh, you, just stay away see? from it for now. The We're boring. not going to do a survey yeah, yet. Like 15 meters off of it. I can <laughs> see the line. <laughs> see it near sonar? No, we see it. You see, you see it? We see in it in front of us. I can't see it from here. See the line? Right, the oh, line. yeah, I see it. Yeah, you can chase it down. You want me to zoom in on it? And keep it in eyesight. No, eye if you zoom in on it, we'll lose it. I'm turning the other lights back on. Might be able to see it better. You can uh, play with the iris a little on the light. So you, get you should be able to light it up in your sonar. Yeah, oh yeah, we see it in the sonar. It's right dead ahead. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that was an interesting meatball. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if it would have been a couple meters uh, forward, <laughs> we would have uh, landed on it. Bonked it. <laughs> Bonk. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just barely see it off the distance there. You back up a little bit? <laughs> no, we know where it is now. Well, usually oh. you're not all the way over here. First step in the dive plan is locate the more newly deployed more. Yeah, he's got our tech. We're ahead of schedule. Didn't even yeah. get to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's efficiency, folks. I think I mentioned to look for it when you got down there. Can't see it from back here. Well, we know exactly where it is. 
Yeah. You're fine. You're 30 meters away from it. Where's the other one to the south of it? The other one's quite a ways away. Yeah, it's it's further away. A few uh, hundred meters. A few standard, hundred meters. It? No, it's yeah. somewhere out there. Are you lighting it up in Herx sonar? Not anymore. Well, we're definitely not directly in front of each other, but kind of weird. You're all right. You're tail to tail. Plenty of separation there. Who stole the pen from the dive chief area? Unless it's in, oh, no, found it. It's in the binder. That's my bad. There it is again. Back in oh view. Yeah, to the right. You want my spot? Megan, do you have pinks coming from our uh, um, IP right now? Um, I turned it off, but oh. it's this blue line. OK. What is? Yeah, but we're up here. This is Herc, so we're looking here. So it's like that, which is pretty good. That's Atlanta. I think that's the beacon. But that's just the last ping. It hit over there and then jumped away. Sean and AJ, someone's asking about the camera cleaning from the last dive, if that was successful. Did we clean a camera last dive? I, I think. I don't uh, even know. I think the other folks did. 
They cleaned a bunch of things. They cleaned a sonar transducer head and a aquadop transducer head. I'm not sure about a camera. I thought they left the camera. And I thought they turned it off and then turned it back on and realized it was working. Okay. Oh, that's a different camera. We're getting yeah. our cameras mixed up. Yeah, so that between camera. Between Barkley and Endeavor yeah. Math. Yeah. So there were plans to clean the Barkley camera, which was a couple of days ago. But when we got there, it looked pretty clean. So we just left it as is. Whereas um, this other camera, the one that was in our plans originally to be recovered, um, just kind of miraculously started working one day when we were <laughs> down there. So Yeah, Fabio uh, mentioned that. Yeah, so I, we still don't really know why that happened. Um, I think he said that they were powering it off or something like that, and then something about it like restarting. Yeah. The good old turn it off, turn it back on yeah. trick. Rule number one in <laughs> IT. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't think we were here for, or at least I wasn't here for the camera cleaning mission. We cleaned a camera uh, at Mothra, and that went well. That was a while ago now, though. It was like a week ago. Yeah, I haven't seen much of the T-Boss in action, so. Oh, are you, you're missing out. <laughs> I know. It's a thing of beauty. Yeah. Did a cleaning of the sonar bell. That was a pretty satisfying T-Boss clean. <laughs> it's like just for like it's just hairy in all directions. Yeah. Picking up uh, Dopplers now, 68 meters off the bottom. So close. Slides out a little if you want. I got auto heading on now.
Hey Pete, do you know how to put um, the DSC into PC2? I can do that. Uh, do uh, you want CPC. that before white balance or after? Uh, before we got time. Well, PC2 is DP for right now. Yeah, PC2 is fine. Oh, okay. I can do it actually. I'm gonna swing Atlanta's head around. Right here. Almost up on the winch. Yeah. Fifteen meters off bottom. Roger. There it is. Okay, uh, that cable looks like it's running east-west, so let's hang a right, follow it east. Roger. Yeah, I don't know if we care about the white balance for uh, plugging in a moin. It's your guys' call. Yeah, I don't, I'm not bothered if you will. Uh, I wouldn't see this. They probably want to get on with the morning. Sounds good. Uh, I don't think we're bothered. Data? Don't think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have it. Recall one. That's got something saved in there. Well, yesterday's white balance, I don't think anything's changed since yesterday on lighting. Same spot. Um, Are we so going to run out of tether here? This yeah, morning, we're going to have to. Give me a second here. Um, this morning, so you, you want to go to the old morning first, right? Well, let's go to the IP and then let's work our way north to the morning. IP should be to our east, if this cable is the one that I think it is. Right, okay. We want to recover that beacon. And yeah, we'll recover the beacon. And yeah. the mooring is north of the... And the mooring is north of the IP. Okay. Yep. Here, can chase the cable then. The IP is the... Uh, oh, what's the... What's on the nav screen here south of the IP? Oh, yeah, these positions are the old ones. So they're not going to be as helpful. Um, yeah, just head east. Yeah, follow the cable. So. I have two positions for it, so and we're right between the both of them. So well, it'll be a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. <coughs> I don't think we have any cables running east of our platform. Right. Well, no green cables at least. So that should be a. Uh, so we should be west of it. Um, okay. Are we going to need a ship move? Um, we might need a 20-meter ship move. Yeah, thinking the same thing. 
I'm at the end of the tether already. So. All right. Bridge now. Can we move 20 meters east, please? A bit uh, northeast. It was the morning was northeast. Right. Okay. But it was like up here. I don't know. Right. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, matches the mark over on here. high pack. Yeah. I should have had the. Uh, I should have put a waypoint on that. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. I guess we can white balance if we're waiting for the ship move. Sure. dark for a second. Can't see the cable anymore. Yeah, it's right below us. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah, yeah. Down looking camera there. There we go. Danny's camera. Uh, pointy stick. <laughs> I've threatened to take it away and beat him with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> what does he use it for? Just to point at things on the monitor? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, can we look at this this cable right here? You were like, it's yeah. his old old fashioned telestrator. Oh. Okay. He uses it to annoy the herd pilot when he's bored. <laughs> No, it's stuff? just a rubber, so you don't poke a hole in the screen. <laughs> eh, probably a good idea. Always thinking that, ready. Mm -hmm. He is always thinking. Right, you can have the flash new controller. Cause <laughs> I've got a track. Well, 
think I'll need it. Gauge cam all the time. That looks like the IP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. There it is. Just yes. waiting on yep. Atalanta a little bit. Yeah. She's a little pokey. Right there. Which corner did we put the beacon in? I think the beacon's in the southwest corner. Nice sonar target. I still don't fully get it here. Um, are they? Are they on screen, sir? Not ROV pilot friendly. So the one you just deployed is that on your uh, high pack there, Megan? Hmm. The one that we just deployed. Right. Yeah, that's up here. Okay, and that's one where light. We know that position because we're. Because. Uh, got a beacon on it. And you're pinging it. Uh, no, the IP has a beacon, and I pinged it. Okay. And so we're headed towards that now. But the mooring does not have a beacon, but we know where it is because we just saw it. Okay, and then the old mooring is. The old mooring is gone. Oh, they already. That's the one they released already. Yep. Yeah, the Recovered one we brought it. up this morning. So the only things down here I have to worry about are the new mooring. The new mooring, which we saw on the way down. Yep. Okay. Sorry, just trying to get to know the neighborhood. Yep. Um, okay. There's the beacon on the back corner. Yep. We can leave that for now. Okay. Because probably just best to have the bio box empty in case we need anything from it. Uh, in this upcoming step and we'll be back here for certain. So now that we've got our bearings, um, Nav, do we want to make a mark here so that we have a, an updated reference? Sure. I guess this is pretty close to the beacon hit that you have on high pack. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's like within a few meters. Yeah. But I will make a mark. Okay. And then from here, we'll go and find the the mooring. Step one. Find the mooring. Step one. <clears throat> I would think it's due north from here, but based off of where we came down. What we could do, actually, what might be better, is if we follow the cable that's running from the north of the IP. Yep. Let's get to the end of it. Um, uh this one yeah it's one cable it's just looped back on itself so both of those will take you to okay. the same place <coughs> uh, put in a ship move yeah we're gonna have to I All think right. if you could put Atalanta sort of halfway because we're gonna be running back and forth right uh, yeah I think I there's something enough in the to sonar or actually I can see it in the cameras up to the left over here we, yeah, that's an old monument. That's an old monument? So yeah, saw that, that must be old. Yeah, night old mooring base, 19 meters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, man, if we landed it that close, we're really playing with fire. Bridge nav. So, Data, there's a note here about confirming if there are these 8181s on port J7 and J8. Okay. <coughs> I just took a look. It didn't look like any 8181s are would go. Damn. Like what size are those? Are they those like are three meters oh that okay. run from the junction box typically into the receptacles here. Oh. Like that would be an 8181. Okay. 
Okay. And so it didn't look like there were any receptacles populated, except for these three. Mm. So I don't, I don't think those you are there. I don't think they're a thing. Yeah, okay. I don't think they're a thing. We can go back and review the footage. Yeah. But okay. I think that's the only thing we can do because we can't really see the back of the junction box when okay. they're in these platforms. Yeah. I'll and never mind, they wouldn't go anywhere but to a, a receptacle holder. Yeah, I'll make a note of that. Then. Okay. I mean, it should be straight ahead-ish, according to high pack. Yeah. Well, that's great. It means our cable should reach. You can, uh, hey Danny, you see that dongle in front of you? If you hit scan reverse on it, when it goes by, if you move the mouse to the right, move the little mouse to the right screen. Click on it with the left button there, and then hit scan reverse, and keep that lit up. As Jake starts moving again, that would be... it up in this one when we get closer. Put this one to uh, ultra. putting them down off the cliff now <laughs> or did we accidentally land one up on the ridge one here uh yeah we're putting them kind of down the it's 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 a small cliff but we've been putting them down at the bottom of the cliff lately mm. i think it has more to do with proximity to our junction box and our cable uh, yeah. like this might have been one of the first ones and the cable hadn't yet been laid but okay. since the cable's been here we kind of keep landing it at least 20 meters away so we don't crush our PBOF by accident. Looks like a big rate. Yeah, spot right that there. could be it. I see a vertical line. Yeah. Right here. Hmm. You ever see the range button on that thing you got there? Yeah. If you decrease it to uh, five meter division. Yeah, that's it. That's eight meter. Yeah, uh, keep going. Six, five. It's kind of a cool little hand, handy dandy remote. Yeah, there it is. Seven and a half meters away on this one. Okay. 
just going to let this be now, since we can see it. Something there doesn't look right. we going to sneak up on it. Give them a, let them have a look there, Dick. I forgot the leash. Oh, no, never mind. That's okay. That's the anode. <laughs> I thought that was the connector pulled out. All right, and does it look like we're going to reach our parking position at the bottom? This is all good. We don't have to survey the whole mooring just yet, but good to look at this L box. So thank you for that. So if we could just uh, take a position here, uh, sure thing. make sure that we know what we're doing. I wonder if that PBOF is tied back or just zip tied because it does not look like it's going to reach the parking position. Looks like a small black zip tie. Yeah. Uh, I don't see the snail trails today, Megan. Is that, are they turned off? Or? Um. They're on. Oh, you know, they're probably the color of this. You can, you can make green. that Oh, I can green. make it a different color, yeah. Right. I'll make it all black, that's fine. Turn that all map black. layer off. Uh, it's not appearing. You have to turn the map layer off. It's probably masking it. Please. No, I mean, you should be able to see it. I don't. I know, but it's not uh -huh. there. That's selected. Jake, can Others. you just ha give us a closer look at that there? This is this is what it is shaped like. <coughs> Video. Let me uh, zoom in there. I think if you turn the bathy off, you might have a better look. Is it okay. a pin? Pull pin? A bungee? Yeah, but it, it's not it's not being used as a pull pin. But that's fine. That PBOF will pull down a little bit tighter. Okay. And it should reach. So um Yeah, we got choices here. We could either sit down and get this oriented or we could go get the cable and then sit down later. Probably makes sense to go get the cable. so once we have a position. We can go do that. Yeah. Let's do it. Looks like there's a zip tie there. Yeah. Maybe the pull pin is just being used as a cut washer. No, that bungee is also. I don't know what that's doing. That might have just been like that for shipping. You see up there in layers, Megan. Yeah. All right, Jake, what? So mm. Income wide video. Layers at the top is the uh, is all this pixelated stuff. I don't know if it's MEF or. It's probably this view. one. Yeah, turn that off. Oh, no, it's not that one. There you go. And I can see the ship's track. The, I don't know why you're ready bothers to put it in there it doesn't because it can well it doesn't do anything for us except confuse us <coughs> okay did you get a position yet for this uh for the thing? morning yes i do okay okay so let's go back and you can pick get up the cable the back and pick up the cable so the cable's 
just going to be sort of laid on the ground. The cable end is going to be laid on the ground by the northeast side of the platform. Okay. So. And now, uh, can you just confirm the distance between the mooring and the IP? Dan, can you come up on the delta a bit as I come back? Run traffic. Our distance is 30 meters. Perfect. That'll reach no problem. So there's the cable on the there's ground, like loop back on itself. So one of the connector ends is going to be at the IP. So keep, okay. keep going that way. Right. Now we have a snail trail. So where your snail trail starts is. Or oh yeah, straight ahead. Where your. Uh, yep. I think it'll be this oh no, I left just clicked one. A whole bunch of things. That <laughs> is the loose end. Okay. No, I'm a complete liar. It's right here. <laughs> So we just have to pick that up, and we can put it uh, in the Fletcher okay. to fly. Uh, you may need to come down a bit so I can reach it. Uh, but I have hit both rails there, and there's a happy making me work for it, too. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any con connectors there. No. Nor in. Nor in that one, J5. Or that's just a dummy plug at the very fr end. Yeah. It, if there's a dummy, it means there's something that to dummy into. So oh, okay. there's got to be something there. But that's. Yeah. I don't know. That doesn't even seem to have a J. Huh mark on it. But there's no way to see what's underneath it. It's, it's underneath the IP. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a note of this. <coughs> so we have to uh, release this spool of cable here? No, 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 no. Oh, no. Just the connector that's the on connector? the ground right okay. below you. It'll reach. Okay. When they pulled it out, they drug it halfway back on it, so. Yeah. Old markers are from when you move things, right? Yeah, sometimes they'll be called temporary, but every year we come back and we take markers, and every time we come down here, there's a little bit of error in the USBL system based on the water temperature properties, or the, the water properties. I don't know if it has to do with temperature. Um, and so everything gets offset and shifted every time. So that's why we have all these old waypoints. It's kind of hard because you kind of need to ignore them, but you kind of want to know where things were relative to one another because yeah. those distance are distances are usually pretty good. Yeah, those are consistent. Yeah. But then you have to shift it all mentally. It'd be kind of nice if you could almost just grab all the waypoints and just shift them to where, it, like, to match your current <laughs> navigation. <laughs> right, that'd be nice. <laughs> and the whole map to, to match where it should be. Exactly. Like, it's a 20 meter offset, just go bonk. Yeah, <laughs> just one number, 20 meters, click, and then it all looks good. Close enough? Yeah. <coughs> well, those tiny demo sponges on the pahoy hoy lavas, they look like pahoy hoy, they're ropey. Look at it crawl. Are you, are you oh. talking about these things, or are you talking about these things? Oh, the, the, the round things there. are the, oh. the demo sponges. The uh, the stars are brittle stars. Oh, yeah. The way those brittle stars move. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's they're so quite quick weird. if they want to be. Yeah. Ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's like, they can't even see. They're just scooting. Yeah. Scoot, scoot. They're 
there's a bunch that will like live on corals and when you come by with the rov they just they just jump off <laughs> wow yeah they're like nope i'm out <laughs> So if they don't Pro have smear. eyes, how can they see the ROV? Just use your camera, Danny. Look at that Danny cam. I know, isn't it awesome? Mm -hmm. Does it have zoom on it? I wish. <laughs> the one I had on that was set up in the lab when you guys got here, didn't it? Yeah, that would be sweet. Mm, I, I, it, you don't, you don't need it. That's great. See, actually, four k has got a pretty wide view, doesn't it? You uh, can keep that locked there. Yeah, I'm trying to get a good plug-in grip on it, but I suppose I'm going to have to unplug it the other end anyway. So, okay. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do some adjustment there. on the other end first. Okay, so if I think we want to come up and yep. back our way over to that mooring. We can kind of, we can fly either way. We can fly forward as well if you want to keep it in cam just for safety. Um, but let's let's yep. just come up as we approach it. So we can come up 10 meters and then come back down to the mooring. Try our best not to drag the cable too much. Yeah, yep. you want to turn and look at it and pick it up as you go. Roger. Come up high, right? Uh, I just want to pick the cable up as you go okay. north. So watch it in your camera there and uh, pick it up. If you bring your head around to the north, you'll be able to see. Oh, north. Roger. You can pick it up there off the rock first, but. Okay. Bubba's also your friend there. Yeah. So. Get back up a little, you'll be able to see it picking up. <laughs> 